Hello, my name is Mark O'Mara and what you're looking at here is in fact not my presentation called Present to Connect. It is the best copy that I can do in terms of video where I'm just showing you images and where I'm talking to you. But an actual presentation, this actual presentation, I hope is about 10 to 20 times better. And as we go on and talk about presentations a bit, and when I say we, I mean I, which is of course one of the things that's wrong with this is it's just me talking, then you'll get a sense of why a presentation is much more than just somebody talking in a bunch of images. The first thing that I want to do is click through to this, that's what I wanted, that's me. I am an English teacher, I've done corporate work in a previous life and these days presentations are really important. It's important that people can understand it and it is a fantastic opportunity presenting to people. I know lots of people don't think of it like this but it is. Lots of people in fact are absolutely terrified of presentations. I'm not all that surprised that students tell me that they don't like doing presentations because I guess it is, your, your home crowd is the hardest one to play to and getting up in front of the class full of people who know you and see you every day, I get why that's nerve-wracking. But what amazes me is how many capable adults and how many teachers in particular say, oh no, I really struggle with presentations, I find it really difficult. I don't find it really difficult, but I will confess to you that my heartbeat does pick up a bit when I know I'm going to present. I do think presentations are easy, but people still get quite nervous about it. It's funny, when we think about presentations, we often think about people kind of standing up and talking to bullet points. And when people are doing, when people are communicating, connecting badly, then we say, oh, that's a presentation. But when they're actually getting up and they're actually full on connecting with us, when they're in the moment, when they're absolutely on fire, then we say that's performance or that's music or that's poetry or something else. We don't say, oh, that was a presentation. Presentation seems to be the name that we give things when they're not very good. But what you want to do when you're presenting is being like this guy in the photo here. You want to be absolutely in the moment. You want to be passionate. You want to be connected. And you just want to be going for it. This is, I mean, people pay big money to go and see musical performances where people are, in essence, presenting their musical performance to us. This approach that I'm talking about has three stages. The first of these stages, and they're going to have their own little video each, is the design stage. And as you can probably tell from the picture there, this is actually the, is done in a kind of analog way. This is not a technical process. This is something we do with our brains and on paper. There is the construct stage, which we do do with um, computer equipment, although I don't much care which. And finally, there is the actual delivery. And the delivery is far more than just turning up and trusting your luck. There are specific things you can and should be doing. So anyhow, that's what you can expect for Present to Connect. So this is, um, please go and watch the other videos and I hope you get something useful out of it.